Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another really hot one here in Inadu, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. I just got the plane stuck and we just got it unstuck. So hopefully this takeoff will go all right. This will be a true, true soft fuel takeoff. All right. Fuel is good. Igniter's on. Fuel pump on. And low start. Over 14% on the NG. Introduce my fuel. Watching the ITT come up. And it peaks out at 740. Alright, generator, pump forward, alternator, aux bus, our V2. So yeah, I got stuck uh, because it flooded. Well, the river came up high, they said. It didn't say it flooded the airstrip, but it came up high. And I was putting in like three to four inch ruts of just pure mud all the way. So I have a video on my Patreon. Uh, page that I'll put on here of us actually getting the airplane out of this place and I'm heading back up to Malamanda pick up one more passenger a couple more passengers come back here and I'm gonna land this way this time and not come to this end because they said the other end of the airstrip is fine just a 12 minute flight up to Malamanda so fuel caps are good controls good pause is good let's put our radar on standby to get the gimbals going and instruments, we're just going to go up to uh, like 20, well, 3,100 feet at the highest because that's pattern altitude, and like I said, it's just 10 minutes away. We are 5,500 pounds right now, so our rotate speed is going to be 55 and 64 if we need to come back in. So hopefully, I can get off the ground. My safer board point is going to be halfway down the runway if I am not 40, 40 knots by halfway, that's pretty bad, 40 knots by halfway, then I'm going to go ahead and abort full reverse heavy braking, going off for any reason, cut off, pull off, and shut off after takeoff. Pitch for 85, we'll stay along the river for now until we get up in a little bit higher. Otherwise. Pitch for 80 full flaps, cut up, pull off, and shut off. Maydays, crack my door, an emergency. All right, flaps are set indicated and verified at 20. Our set up our trim, we just did that. I'm gonna do a little bit of back trim just to help me keep the nose off. I don't have any luggage or anything on board today. But I wanna keep as little bit of weight on my front wheel as I possibly can so I can get into the ground effect as soon as possible and get out of here. All right, igniters, lights, and bypass. Our sea level 35. Bidding 659 or 8 November, Tango Zulu, taxi Inadu, Malamunda, 1 POB. Number Tango Zulu, copy taxi. Inadu, call on departure 6538. 6538, departure November, Tango Zulu. All stations, Inadu 1267 November, Tango Zulu, taxi Inadu. Malamanda below 5,000. All right. Ignition condition flaps 20 fuel and harnesses. We're 35 degrees at sea level, 1520, so 1470. All right. We'll see how this goes. 1470 and 55. Pumping the brake. All right, there we go. All right, there's 40. There's 52, there's 55. All right, get my nose over. And climb out. All right, now that was super muddy. There's no way I would have taken anybody out of there because it is so, so soft. We're heading over that way. Let me get my speed up a little bit. And get a little bit of altitude before we take our flaps out. So anyways, at the beginning I wasn't really talking because I'm trying to hit my brake. It was just pulling me off slowly to the left. Was not able to stay in the center line for the first half of it. Super, super draggy. So coming in to land on this next one. Yeah, after that, uh, I think I'm gonna let it sit for a while until we come back in here. Thankfully, we don't come in here very often. All right, get those flaps out, and let's see. 
Yeah, I came over those mountains, I believe, when I came here last. All right, prop is back to 2,000. We'll pull our ITT back to 720 on the ITT. Looks like this is the mountain that I want to go over here. And make sure our TAWS is inhibited right now, just so I can get over top of these hills and stuff without it yelling at me. All right, let's go ahead and make my departure call. Departure time to zero. Six five three eight November Tango Zulu departure. November Tango Zulu departed. Eddie Nadu time two zero. Tracking one three three on climb not. Our correction below five thousand. Estimating Mala Munda five hundred. Now that we're up and out, let's turn our landing light off. I'm going to leave my engine inlet still into bypass just because I'm low today. I'm only about 1,000 to 1,500 feet above the ground, roughly. And we'll remain at that just because we have a low layer of clouds right here. We'll just wiggle our way up the valley um, over these next ridges. We'll go up and just basically follow the river up to Malamunda. So because I'm only at 1,800 feet today, I'm just flying with my fuel flow rather than my torque. Typically, I'll fly with a 1,250 foot-pound of torque, but today, because I'm lower to sea level and I do all of my flight planning at 320 pounds per hour, I'm just keeping it below 320 on this. Whereas if I were to fly at 1,250 foot-pound of torque, then my fuel flow would probably be like 350 or something like that. Let me bring up the strip chart from Malamunda here. Okay, so we're heading back to Malamunda today. I was already there just a minute ago, picked up some people, and now I'm heading back one more load, and then back to Nado, back to Weewak. So the elevation is 2150, so my pattern altitude is going to be 3100 feet. We'll be landing on runway 08. It's a one-way airstrip, and it was really, really slippery landing there, too. They've just been getting a lot of rain out here lately. Just a 4% slope and 530 meters long. So this um, pattern is just a little bit different. It's not just like a nice little standard pattern. It's kind of, you just follow ridges until you get to certain areas and trees and then you turn there. So the turning final is gonna actually be uh, fairly close. Typically we would turn our finals around 500 feet where I think this one is more like 300. 300 feet, I'll have to look actually when I do it, but I think it's like 300 to 350 feet, so it's really not that high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hop over this little ridge here. That's going to get me to my river that I need to go up, and then we'll follow that river all the way up to Malamunda. We're just 11 miles out now, so I'm going to give a quick call. All stations, Malamata 126, decimal 7, November, Tango, Zulu, 11 miles to the northwest, 2000, estimating the field time, 3-0, Malamata. A lot of you guys have left comments down below asking, like, what would I do in the case of an emergency? You know, a lot of these places that we fly, well, there's usually rivers. This time of the year, it is dry season. So... The rivers are lower than they would normally be, which gives them a couple of gravel bars and stuff. But there's still a lot of times where there's places that there is nowhere to safely land. That's just not a luxury that we have as bush pilots here. Like there's just sometimes, like right here, I would have absolutely nowhere to go. I would have literally seconds before, you know, hitting the ground. We've got clouds here, we've got clouds here. It just opened up right above me. But then again, I've got up here, I've only got 500. 2,000 feet over top of me, so it really doesn't give me a lot of room, and there's just nowhere else to land. So, yeah, if uh, you're not fine with that, maybe this isn't the best job for you. I don't really worry about it. It is what it is. If it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to worry about it every single one of my flights. But I do keep in mind where, I, where would I go. I do try to plan some of my flights where I could actually go and... Oh, there's a bird and uh, land safely somewhere. So my pattern altitude is 3,100 feet. I'm just gonna slowly start making my climb up there now. I'm right at basically field elevation at this time. 
We're just two minutes out. Let's start our checklist. Selectors and brakes. Taws is still off. We are still 5,400 pounds, so our V-Ref is 63 knots. Lights and let still done. If we do need to go around, it's power up. 20 degrees flaps. Pitch for 73, left hand turn out, reset torque 740. All stations, Malamunda, 126.7, November Tango Zulus in the circuit, Malamunda. Medic 6538, November Tango Zulu in the circuit, Malamunda, cancel SAR. I'm on 9-8. Medic 6598, November Tango Zulu in the circuit, Malamunda, cancel SAR. 500. and harness, we'll do harness here shortly. People ask like why I'm like it's always like leaning forward or sitting forward in this plane. It's because this plane a lot of times just flies like this. It doesn't fly like straight. So me sitting up straight, feeling straight is this right here. So that's why it always looks like I'm leaning forward. And yes, I could put the seat back up, but I like to have the maneuverability because we're not just flying standard patterns and you want to be able to see up over here or down back here and you want to move around. So that's the reason why I sit the way I do. Some people are very concerned that I'm not flying safely by because I'm not sitting straight up and down, but I am because the airplane's not flying flat. All right, we're just flying over top now just so that people know that I'm here. We can get off the runway. Alright, looks good. There's my pattern altitude. We're at 10 degrees of flaps. Top and harness done. SAR's already done. Alright, we want 63, 73, and 83. 83 downwind. There's 20 degrees of flaps. And bring my torque down to probably 400 or below just because I'm empty. Maybe even 350. that little short jump over here. Hopefully I don't get stuck back in Inaru when I go back. And uh, anyways, I put out videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so if you guys like this content, be sure to subscribe. That no bell notification lets you know when I do put it out. And uh, please give this video a like if you did enjoy it. I sure do appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. And uh, it's this channel out to new viewers. So thanks, guys. Have a good one.
Right. All of my switches off. Aux bus, generator, alternator, V2, all the way back, cut off, below 40%, feather it. That's it. Have a good one.